Hello friends, I am Dr. Muhammad Mukaram Ali, Consultant Pulmonologist, Pratima Hospitals, Kachiguda. Welcome back on this short topic. Today we are going to discuss about the lung infections. Lung infections is a major problem nowadays worldwide and we are inquiring, encountering a lot of infections nowadays like the viral infections, the bacterial infections and the mixed infections. Let us talk what is about the viral infections. As we all know uh, about the COVID-19 infection, it is a viral infection and uh, previously we used to have influenza virus infections usually in the winter season, so which was very common among developing countries and uh, well-developed countries also. That is why we used to give shots of uh, antiviral uh, vaccinations which is uh, given for all elderly people worldwide. So what counters uh, the viral infections is the organisms, the viruses which mutates year by year so that the strain of the virus changes and vaccine also changes every year. So it implies to influenza also and mostly positively we should have uh, more vaccines for the COVID-19 infections in the late future also. So viral infections are usually 33% of the populations. If you take a subgroup of 100 people and 33% will be viral infections in the respiratory one and uh, there will be bacterial infections will, which will be uh, almost around 33% also the same and uh, bacterial infections will have symptoms of uh, cough, uh, fever, SOB, purulent sputum. So there will be yellowish sputum and there will be some greenish sputum in the so the patient will complain of such illnesses. We have to identify the cause of the bacteria and we have to treat accordingly. The third type of infections what we encounter is uh, the mixed type of infections that is the bacterial infections for they might overlap with some viral infections and they might overlap with some fungal infections as well. So we have to know what we are dealing with because the presentation of all these three will be different and the treatment will be different. So what we see in such scenarios is we have to identify the symptoms like cough, SOB, breathlessness, fever and there is a lot of phlegm. And sometimes in the later stages uh, if the presentation is delayed there will be desaturation. The oxygen level will be below the normal value. So what happens in the viral infection, it is a usually it is a fast and a progressive disease. The cough is usually a dry cough and the history is usually a short history. In, so, in the short duration of time, the patient becomes sick and he has a high grade fever and there is a, a desaturation at a very early stage. And in comparative to the bacterial infection, the bacterial infection usually takes a longer course. The fever remains throughout. And there will be in sometimes in cases where there is septicemia, there will be high grade fever and the purulent sputum, the sputum will be greenish or yellowish color. We have to identify that and we have to know okay, it is a bacterial infection as well. So uh, after we identify and we isolate the organism, depending on the test, we have to treat accordingly for and for viral infections, we have good antiviral medicines for influenza also. And recently we have come up with good drugs for COVID also. So there is no need to worry and this drug has been approved by the WHO which is in the pipeline mostly we will be getting it very short. The drug is an oral drug which is recommended for COVID-19 infection that is a treatment of five days, one tablet morning and evening. The research is progressing and there is a new development in the field so we should not worry and we should identify our symptoms and report ourselves to the doctor nearby and the treatment can be given according to the viral history or it is a bacteria or it is a mixed infection because last uh, few months back we had uh, black fungus also because a lot of covid patients had uh, fungal infections in their uh, sinuses in their blood streams in their uh, secretions so we had a lot of bad times uh, treating them because that is a very expensive treatment for patients who are diabetic and who have uh, covid 19 infections so let us be very sure what we are dealing with whether it is a viral, bacterial or a fungal and depending on that we can treat accordingly. Identify your symptoms and visit your doctor as early as possible and don't try to self-medicate yourself. So because prevention is always better than cure. Thank you.